Previously on the writer's wardrobe. There's a zombie apocalypse. The lab where it all started. I thought you were scientists or something. <laughs> why is that funny, Clinton? Oh, uh, no reason. We're janitors, mate. That's why we're so perfectly suited to surviving the zombie apocalypse. All right. How about we stop with the interruptions and I let you tell your story for a while? That's all I've ever wanted. So, I lead this idiot down the hallway, past the upturned chair and into the cleaning closet. Was it a nice closet? You said you wouldn't interrupt! I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about upsizing. It was a cleaning closet. No carpet, no coat hangers, just mops, brooms and chemicals. And the uniform. Ow, what the fuck? I'm telling the story, Clinton. Next one will be harder. The only other thing in the closet was the uniform. The very one Clinton is still wearing now. I hope it was in better condition when you first got it. It wasn't too... So I hand him the outfit. Here, put this on. And I notice that he's looking funny at it. What is it? It's got Jeff written on it. Forget Jeff, that's the old guy. Is that an important detail? Safe to say, Jeff does not make an appearance, nor will he ever. I'm pretty sure we walked past a photograph of Jeff underneath the Employee of the Year plaque. No, you didn't! All right, so you got dressed for work, I'm assuming. I did. So this hole in the knee was already there. Uh, There were a few stains and two of the buttons were missing. It's a working man's uniform. We can't all have spotless white lab coats. I wasn't complaining at the time, of course. It was all new to me. I figured I'd have got a new pair of overalls once I passed the trial period. Anyway, back to the story. Forget Jeff, that's the old guy. Follow me. We'll start at the end of the corridor and work our way back. So we opened the door and it let out a big, long creak. And I remember thinking to myself, I'll have to come back and grease that motherfucker. Actually, I think I said it out loud. I'll have to come back and grease that motherfucker. Oh, I think I've got a nice door creak sound effect on the soundboard here. No, you don't. No, I think I do. This is not what we agreed to. What agreement? You just barged in here without a... He means our agreement. I'm surprised you remember, Clinton. You've been awfully quiet about it. That's because it's stupid. You're stupid. What agreement? We agreed that we would do the sound effects to each other's stories. You what? Every decision I make is under duress with him around. We do our own sound effects. We're not looking to put you out here. It's really no trouble. I just press a button. No, stop it. Now, Clinton. The door creaked open. Don't make me do it. The door creaked open. Jeff, I don't want to- The door creaked open! Creak! You're a terrible fucking door. But that wasn't so hard, was it? It's demeaning. Yeah, but it's a two-way street, and I'll do your sound effects. You never let me say anything. So there's blood everywhere when we get inside the room, and I'm thinking, these experiments are getting out of control. Actually, I'm pretty sure I said that out loud among Clinton's bitching. Oh my god! These experiments are getting out of control. And Clinton stumbles over, mop and bucket entirely forgotten. And what's he found? A fucking arm. An arm? A fucking human arm. And he picked it up. Oh my god! Yep, they're filthy fuckers, all right. That's what I say to him. And then I get to mopping the blood splatter off the wall because we're janitors. That's our fucking job. And I dropped the arm. Yeah, you did. Splat. See, I got you. So, they've done experiments like this before. Well, let's just say I've seen a body or two in my time. Why is an energy drink laboratory doing experiments beyond colour and taste testing? It's like I said, Loomis. That's the trouble with intelligent minds. They're idiots. So you're cleaning up blood? Right, we're cleaning up blood. Well, I am. Clinton is still sobbing over the severed arm. He's very lacking as far as genitorial grit goes. I don't come across severed arms often. Anyway, the door creaks open. Creak! Thank you, Clinton. And in comes a tightly wound pommy fellow. What the hell are you doing here? Don't you know it's... Anyway, I lost my shit with him. Clinton's attitude was already getting on my nerves at that point, plus the whole incident with Theo earlier that morning. (sighs) Man, I spin around and... I'm trying to do my fucking job! Is it that hard to get through everyone's thick skulls? Anyway, as I turn, my mop head flings around and splatters this dude's face with blood from the wall. He can't have been too happy about that. He fucking died over it, so I suppose not. He died? In a way, the fucking blood infected him. And that... That was our first encounter with a zombie.